if you forget about love, all you're doing is playing games. Well, I think that there's something that breathes life when we love other people. One of my favorite Proverbs is Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. And this is what it says. It says, the tongue has the power of life and death. And those who love it will eat of its fruit. Whatever is going on in your life, you have a potential to breathe life into people or you have a potential to knock them down. Here's the thing. Here's the thing that I have found. If you want to find relief from some of the issues that may be plaguing your soul, you will be the recipient, recipient of someone's love. However, if you want to receive healing from some of the issues plaguing your soul, you need to be the deliverer of love to people. If you're the receiver, you will receive a benefit, but if you're the giver of love, you will receive healing. The healing is not in the acceptance of love. The healing is in the offering of love. And here's the thing, that's extremely significant. It is the axis of which Christianity revolves around. But it's the simplest thing, isn't it? And the reason it's simple is this. You can't misinterpret it. You can't say, well, when Jesus said love one another, this is kind of what he really meant. This is kind of what was really happening. No, it basically meant that you need to love one another. You just need to go and you need to do it somehow. And when that happens, it becomes profoundly successful. You know what? I just want to be successful in being able to somehow minister to the people in my life who are aching for something real. And if you forget about love, all you're doing is playing games. Isn't it time we stopped playing games? Um, one of the greatest movements that started the Pentecostal movement was the Azusa Street Revivals in Los Angeles. And it was, it was uh, directed by a fellow whose name was William Seymour. He made this quote, which I thought was in, in, incredible. It says, the power, the Pentecostal power, when you sum it up, is just more of God's love. It does not bring more love. It's, if it doesn't bring more love, it is simply counterfeit. Pentecost makes us love Jesus more and love our brothers more. It makes us all into one common family. You know the difficulty of a sermon like this is that I have a hard time giving you a so what factor. You know, if I could say, okay, well you get in another room and you never leave that room until you two love each other. I can't legislate love. I can't create a program that will make one person love another person but this is my thought as, as I was closing if if I could get two out of ten people who watch this to walk away and say you know what I need to change I need to make it about love I haven't made it about love so God help me to be able to take a look at all those instances in my love in my life Help me be able to love people, to genuinely love people the way you love me. I believe that with just two out of 10 people taking that to heart, that'll change us. That'll change our congregation. That'll change your, your community. It'll change your family. And it'll cause people to come beating a pathway to our doors.